I just want to welcome all of you and thank you all for coming. I know there's so many things a person can be doing this time of the year, but nothing will be more enjoyable. I'm going to cry, I know. <laughs> than watching these kids. Um, sorry. <laughs> We've been working on our song since the Lord, since the end of October. Lots of bribes, <laughs> lots of candy, <laughs> lots of toys. But I hope you'll just sit back and, and like they tell me, remember, Miss Darling, we're just kids. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you'll sit just back and relax and enjoy the program. Okay. I've already said good morning to you and Merry Christmas, but we're going to sing a few Christmas carols before we start in with the kids. And they're all in, the, in your hymnal that's in front of you. You may have to share the hymnal, but I bet you all know these anyway. And so the first one that we're going to do, and we're going to start with page 249. 249, O Come All Ye Faithful. We'll sing two verses, the first and the third. are getting ready out there. Am I not right?
Uh, well, I didn't know what you were going to change it today.
little new star. You sure are looking shiny and bright tonight. Thank you. I've already been working on my shininess. <laughs> thousand years now. <laughs> Two thousand years? Wow! Is that a lot? <laughs> well, yes, in fact, I'm old enough to tell you about the very first Christmas. Oh, oh please do. I want to hear all about it. <laughs> okay, to start. 
we have to go way back in time to a place called Nazareth. Oh, look. Who's that pretty lady? That's Mary. She is a virgin, and she is pledged to a man named Joseph. Who's with her now? Oh, that is an angel who has some very important news for Mary. And in the sixth month, the angel of Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou art highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and cast her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son, and shalt call his name Jesus. And he shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Israel forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered, Angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the Highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that thing, the holy thing which shall be born of thee, shall be called the Son of God. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she also has conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month with her, who is also called barren. For with God nothing shall be impossible. And Mary said, Behold thy handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. <laughs> What did Mary say? She said yes, that God knows what he is doing. Oh, now I know. I really like that, Mary. All this was done to fulfill an ancient prophecy. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Wow! What happened next? Well, they got married, of course. And then something happened. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Syrianus was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea, under the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the